We're going to see if we can't take this cheapo RCA television, 19 inch, and turn it into a really cool retro TV. The first step was to cut the front frame out using the CNC machine. The entire TV is going to be made of half inch MDF, which is really easy to cut, and you could definitely do this if you don't have a CNC machine using a jigsaw. Okay, so I've got all the pieces I need for the front of the TV cut on the CNC machine. So this piece, it fits right inside the bezel of the television. And it's pretty snug, it's got about a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. And that gets glued to the main face of the television. And this is just going to be a border around the screen. So that's all going to get glued up. After the glue up, I routed the inside of the frame to give it that retro feel. I sanded it to 220 to get it ready to paint, then I painted it with a silver metallic paint. I glued up five pieces of half inch MDF at two and a half inches, and that will be all the corner pieces to the TV. And here I am just squaring up that block. I rounded over all my exterior corners with an inch and a quarter rounding bit. Then I cut slots in all my corner pieces to allow the sides to be glued in. So what I've done here is I've used the table saw to trim off the bulk of the interior of all my corners. So I just mocked up all my corner pieces and you can see, really see what I was going for here. <clears throat> so I cut my sides to width and went ahead and glued them up and clamp them overnight. I added a couple brad nails just to hold everything in place. Then I was able to mock it up for the first time. Then I just repeated the process for the top and bottom of the cabinet. So this was the first time I was really able to see what the cabinet was going to look like and I was really pleased. So now I needed to cut the back out using the CNC machine. So at this point I've already glued on my front to the cabinet and I added a little bit of wood putty in the corners because the radiuses weren't lining up perfectly. And now I'm just gluing on the back to the cabinet to finish everything out. After I glued up everything, I sanded it to 220 with my orbital sander to get it ready to lacquer. The only reason I lacquered this project was to give my plastic a better surface to adhere to so it would be perfectly smooth and I get a better bond. So here I'm just peeling the backing off the plastic that I chose and this adhesive just sticks directly on to any surface basically. So here you can see me doing one of the bottom pieces, I'm just lining it up and then I'm heating the, uh, the corners to make it a little easier to bend. So to get the remote for the TV to work, I needed an infrared repeater. So I thought it'd be pretty clever just to take one of these old rabbit ear antennas that I got at Walmart and repurpose it and put a repeater right through it. So the interior frame holds the TV in place. I just needed to glue a couple blocks in the cabinet to make sure that the TV doesn't fall backwards. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just dry fitting these blocks. Here I am installing the infrared repeater. And then I'll be installing a extension cord. So I'll just have one single cord running in and out of my box to keep that nice clean look. I'll have a Nexus player inside the box also, which I don't have to worry about the remote on it because it runs off a Bluetooth remote. 
and I'll also be putting some uh, cheaper laptop speakers in here just to give it a little better better sound. Be I laser cut some walnut look plastic for the front of my TV. Now I'm just peeling off the protective tape on the outside and I'm just going to apply it with some double sided tape. I laser cut all my trim out of the same material that I did the outside of the box with and I'm just applying that using the same adhesive. So now I'm just cutting some ventilation holes in my back piece. There shouldn't be much heat generated from the electronics because they draw basically no power but I just wanted to be safe. I then glued on some little ledges for my back piece to sit on. So this is the final look of the back and I just added a couple pieces of magnetic stripping to make sure that the back doesn't fall out and it, I think it really turned out nice. I laser cut the speaker grill out of some aluminum look plastic and I just made myself a little logo using my last name. I laser cut some fabric and applied it to the back of my speaker grill. Then applied the speaker grill using double sided tape to the TV. I added some knobs from an old Les Paul guitar to give it a nice vintage feel. This whole project was based off of one sketch I made and I really think it turned out pretty close to the original vision. So I couldn't be happier with how this TV turned out. If you want to make one and have any questions about materials I used or want some CNC plans, just uh, shoot me a message on YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.